The Minister of International Relations and Cooperation and Deputy Prime Minister Natumbo Nandi Daitwa led a Namibian delegation to Cairo, Egypt to participate in the International Cooperation Forum. The event organized by Egypt in collaboration with regional development banks looks to identify the parameters of sustainable recovery. To tell us more on this, I'm joined on the line from Cairo by the International Relations and Cooperation Minister Natumbo Nandi Daitwa. A very good evening to you, madam, and thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Hello. Yes, madam, can you hear me? Y yes, I can hear you. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Y yes, I'm happy to join you. I'm uh, joining you from Cairo. Yes, ma'am. Uh, firstly, what exactly is the significance of this forum, just for the interest of our, of our audience? You know, uh, the significance of this forum, uh, first of its kind, which is the Egypt um, International Cooperation Forum, is really aimed to look at the aspect of uh, multilateralism and its impact, <laughs> and its impact on um, the, 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 the recovery after the COVID-19. Uh, and uh, particularly looking at Africa as uh, to what should be done uh, in order to make sure that the recovery is done in a way that uh, member African countries, they will be able to be ready uh, and to be on track mm -hmm. with the UN Sustainable Development Goals as well as the AU Agenda 2063, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, a developmental blueprint for the African continent. Mm -hmm. uh, what, are the ex what are the expected or desired outcomes? Okay, uh, the desired outcome uh, for example, the communique that has come out, uh, it has underlined the importance of multilateralism and international cooperation uh, that should be based on the principle of uh, mutual respect and uh, a rule of law which is to the benefit of all. Uh, it has also identified the sectors that need to be looked into. Uh, one of them is the issue of food security, the participation of youth and the women, uh, and also the whole issue of information exchange. And of course, another area is the participation of the private sector and uh, the role of the financial institution that has been made clear to say it should not be discriminatory. Uh, we raised our issue of the treatment which we are getting as an upper middle income and uh, that uh, all the countries are now recovering from COVID-19 if we can still be looked into and discriminated, that will be very difficult for countries like Namibia who the upper middle income to, to, to recover quickly or to recover uh, along the other countries uh, from the COVID-19. So the issue of collaboration and uh, the supporting of financial of the program so that is why, in addition to member states who participated in this conference, uh, it was also attended by the Africa Development Bank, Euro European Bank for Reconstruction, the World Bank Group, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, and then the other multilateral organizations but as well as, and as well as the private sector and uh, the civil society. So it was really a well-representative forum, 
and uh, the Egypt um, Minister for International Cooperation make it very clear that uh, from now they will be working with countries to implement the decisions or the declaration that was passed and to make an assessment at the second forum that will going to take place 12 months from now. Uh, lastly, Madam Minister, what have been the previous successes of the International Cooperation Forum and how were they measured? No, as I mentioned earlier, this is the first addition. So there was no any other forum, Egyptian forum, or International Cooperation Forum. This is the first one, mm -hmm. organized by the Ministry of International Cooperation of uh, Egypt. Mm -hmm. So the only assessment will be done after 12 months when they are now preparing for the second edition. So the, the, there was no first. This is the first one to take place. Apologies for that. All right, thank you, Madam Minister, and uh, all the best for you and your team. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, it's a team I have here, the Minister of Agriculture, the Deputy Minister of Finance, the Governor for Chodonjupa, the Governor of Karas, and uh, the, the senior government officials like ED from Poverty, from uh, National Planning Commission, as well as uh, the ED of the Prime Minister. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Ben. Yeah.